On behalf of everyone here in the arena, in a worldwide television audience, we'd like to extend our condolences to the victims, the families and friends of the victims of the terrorist acts that occurred on Tuesday in New York City and Washington, D.C. Our nation's leaders have encouraged us to return to living our lives the way we normally do. Our nation's leaders have encouraged us to continue to live our lives the American way. They encourage us to practice and exercise our constitutional rights. And as such, tonight I believe this is the first public assembly of its size since the tragedy of Tuesday. Make, make no mistake about what, and make no mistake about the message this public assembly is sending to terrorism tonight. And that message, quite simply, is that we will not live our lives in fear. The citizens of Houston are not afraid. The citizens of Texas are indeed not afraid. And by God, the citizens of the United States are not afraid. As a Gold Star mother, my son gave his life for acts of terrorism. Um, do you still believe that the acts of terrorism are done with a self-proclaimed Islamic religious motives? And if you do, why do you still refuse to use the term racially, I'm sorry, Islamic terrorist? What I have been careful about when I describe these issues is to make sure that we do... tonight. 